Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. After Eagles get rejected by Trump, Sarah Sanders finishes them with three words. After the Philadelphia Eagles got rejected by the White House for disgracefully offering a small delegation of players instead of the entire team, White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders finished them with three harsh words you won't want to miss. Following the NFL's recent announcement that it will require teams to keep anyone who wants to protest the national anthem in the locker room, many in the league have taken the opportunity to demonstrate their dislike for the new rules. The Philadelphia Eagles notably decided to send only a small number of representatives from their team to the White House for their Super Bowl reception. According to Daily Caller, President Donald Trump put the smackdown on the Philadelphia Eagles and canceled their Super Bowl celebration ceremony. The Philadelphia Eagles football team was invited to the White House. Unfortunately, only a small number of players decided to come, and we canceled the event. Staying in the locker room for the playing of our national anthem is as disrespectful to our country as kneeling. Sorry. Trump wrote on Twitter. In my opinion, this was the right thing to do, and the president should not back down from his stance on respecting our flag, our country, and those who have fought to protect it. The Philadelphia Eagles are unable to come to the White House with their full team to be celebrated tomorrow, the Trump administration said in a statement made on Monday. They disagree with their president because he insists that they proudly stand for the national anthem, hand on heart, in honor of the great men and women of our country. The Eagles wanted to send a smaller delegation, but the 1,000 fans planning to attend the event deserve better. These fans are still invited to the White House to be part of a different type of ceremony, one that will honor our great country, pay tribute to the heroes who fight to protect it, and loudly and proudly play the national anthem. I will be there at 3 p.m. with the United States Marine Band and the United States Army Chorus to celebrate America. In addition, Sarah Sanders further explained, on Thursday, May 31st, the team notified the White House of 81 individuals, including players, coaches, management, and support personnel, who would attend the event. On Friday, the Secret Service cleared them for participation. These individuals, along with more than 1,000 Eagles fans, were scheduled to attend the event. Late Friday, citing the fact that many players would not be in attendance, the team contacted the White House again, and attempted to reschedule the event, she continued. The White House despite sensing a lack of good faith, nonetheless attempted to work with the Eagles over the weekend to change the event format that could accommodate a smaller group of players. Then, Sanders dropped three harsh words on the Eagles organization. Unfortunately, the Eagles offered to send only a tiny handful of representatives, while making clear that the great majority of players would not attend the event, despite planning to be in D.C. today. In other words, the vast majority of the Eagles team decided to abandon their fans. In my opinion, Sarah Sanders is absolutely correct, the majority of the Eagles players did abandon their fans, many of whom have served this country in the military or as law enforcement. The lack of respect for our flag and our country that seems to be growing in some professional sports is simply unacceptable. If it weren't for the men and women who serve our country and represent our flag and our values, professional athletes wouldn't have the opportunity to earn an obscene living by playing a game. President Donald Trump's decision to cancel plans with the Eagles is on point with conservative values and truly sends a message to the world that he stands for America first. The simple fact that the league has failed to correct this problem from the beginning means that new leadership is needed to turn things around before fans abandon the league altogether. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.